What's up, curl friends? It is Dr. Crystal Cunningham, clinical pharmacist, transformational curl care specialist, and the founder of Bold Culture Beauty. And because I love you and I want you to succeed on your natural journeys, I'm back with more great tips that will help you save time, builds confidence and make natural hair care easy. Listen, a few weeks ago, I told you we were not playing any games on this natural journey and I am staying true to that. And so today I wanna to talk to you about something that I think um, we don't often focus on too much, but it is the key to us achieving every other goal on our natural journeys. Now listen, curl friends, if you have followed me for any length of time, then you know that I will also always say that healthy hair is the goal for natural hair care. It's not perfection. It is not curl definition. It is not longevity and styles. It is not length retention. While those are very important and they very well can be goals for us on our natural journey, it should not be, those should not be our primary goal. The health of our hair should be our primary goal. And then you're probably wondering, okay, girl, but I want curl definition. Um, I want longevity in my styles. I want length retention. I want my hair to be manageable and I want to walk out of my house feeling good. Well, let me tell you this little secret that I think we often do not realize or we don't focus on. That if we make the health of our hair our primary focus, then all of those other goals will be easy to achieve. And so um, I'm going to tell you this because I think we don't pay enough attention to this and then it causes us to struggle so when we make health our primary focus or if we don't make health our primary focus all of our other goals on our natural hair journey will be just outside our reach we will continue to struggle on our natural journey we will fall victim to trends and other popular things that will push us farther away from our goal we will believe the struggle narrative and we will ultimately make our natural experience more hard and complicated than it needs to be and this girlfriends is why i make it my mission to tell so many of you how important it is to actually focus on improving the health of your hair if we do not focus on improving the health of our hair we will not position ourselves for success and I think a lot of us are always wondering why is this goal just outside of my reach I'm doing all of the things I am putting my time in I'm following a nighttime routine a daytime routine a midweek routine I'm doing all the things I have tried all the steps and it seems like my goals for my um, natural hair journey are just outside of our, my reach. And I would tell you, curl friends, if anybody asks me, this is the case because you have not focused on improving the health of your hair. And so today we're going to get into some common misconceptions about what healthy hair looks like. I'm going to help you identify what healthy hair should look like so that you can be more intentional when it comes to caring for your curls. Listen, I know we're tired of the guessing games when it comes to choosing products. I know you're tired of doing all the work and just having subpar or mediocre curls. I know you are tired of not feeling 100% secure and confident in your your curls and your ability to care for them and so today we're going to bust some myths we're going to focus on health and I'm going to show you what healthy hair should actually look like so that you can be more intentional when it comes to caring for your curls and so that you can ultimately make natural hair care easy listen I am so excited to get into this with you because when you wrap your mind around making health the primary goal for your natural hair journey it literally changes the game curl friends completely changes the game and will help you make natural hair care easy so listen, when we're identifying healthy hair, um, one of the things that we have to be mindful of is not basing our, if we were previously relaxed or if we were accustomed to seeing other people with relaxed hair, not basing our um, goals and understandings for what healthy hair should be on um, our journey when we were relaxed. Listen, curl friends, this this natural journey is not that. There were certain factors that contributed to your hair looking um, a, a certain way that translated into an appearance or a realization of health that you cannot apply to your natural journey. So I would say appreciate 
the time you have relaxed, but please, please, please be aware that the assessment for health, the visual things that we looked at when we were determining the health of our hair will not be the same when it comes to our natural hair journey. So this is not that. So forget what you knew about relaxed hair, forget what you thought about relaxed hair, and approach the way you care for your hair and the way you identify the health of your hair on your natural journey. Um, approach that completely different with an open mind because what we thought was healthy when we were relaxed will not translate to what is actually healthy when we are on this natural journey. So keep an open mind, but do not base the appearance of health on um, what you knew healthy hair to be on your relaxed journey. Now there are some commonalities, but some of the things that we're specifically focusing on will not be the same. Which brings me to my next point, and that is that shine is not in and of itself an indication of the health of your hair. I think a lot of times we assume that if our hair is shiny, that it is healthy. And I'm here to tell you, curl friends, um, that shiny hair does not equal healthy hair. You can readily go to any of your popular stores and purchase a product that will make your hair shiny. Adding that product to your hair does not ensure that your hair will be healthy. And um, I like to point this out to my curl friends because we automatically assume that the health, the health of our hair rises and falls on whether or not our hair is shiny. And you can want your hair to be shiny, that is perfectly fine. I'm not telling you not to want to have a shiny appearance to your hair, but I am saying that do not let the shine fool you because underneath the shine and the layers of products, you can still have hair that is unhealthy and that is ultimately pulling you farther away from those goals of definition, from those goals of manageability, and from those goals of longevity in your styles. And so the takeaway from this point is that products um, are only tools that help us achieve certain looks um, and certain things on our natural journey, but they will not ultimately provide, improve the health of our hair if we do not have the appropriate practices in place. So can you have shiny hair? Absolutely. Can you find products that will create a shine that you want? Yes, you can. Does that mean that your hair is healthy? No, it does not. Make sure you are employing the appropriate practices to improve the health of your hair because products alone will not improve the health of your hair if you do not have the right products. And then it's also important, curl friends, to point out or to remember that shine um, is not necessarily a characteristic for every curl friends. Some of our hairs will be shiny. Some of our hairs will have more of a sheen, which is a matte like finish. So, um, you have to know the key characteristics of your hair because that is going to dictate how your hair should look, feel, and behave when it comes to health. And so instead of basing, um, the health of your hair on a generic appearance such as shine, take the time to better understand your natural curls so that you can know how your hair should look, feel, and behave because it's more than just appearance that dictates the health of our hair. And so when we know the key characteristics of our curls, not only can we be more intentional about caring for them, but we can also be more intentional about assessing and addressing issues and then learning to be comfortable with what those characteristics are versus assuming that because my hair isn't shiny, it's not healthy or it's not good. So make sure that you understand the characteristics of your curls, make sure that you have a complete understanding of how your hair should look, feel, and behave so you can better assess its health. All right, so I want to make sure that we understand these things. So one, we have to understand our hair because it will help us to understand how our hair should look, feel, and behave when it comes to assessing the hair of our hair assessing the health of our hair. And then also we have to understand that things like shine are not universal. When we understand the characteristics of our curls, then we can better assess if our hair should be shiny or sheeny or have a sheen. But then there are also other things that we should be looking for and assessing when we're determining the health of our hair. And then we have to remember that products alone are not the answers. Without the appropriate practices, we will not be able to cultivate an environment that actually allows 
allows our hair to thrive. So get intentional, learn more about your hair. Realize that certain characteristics are not universal to all curls and also understand that products alone are not the answer. We need to use products in conjunction with healthy practices to ensure that we are creating an environment that allows our curls to thrive. So then you're probably asking, well, Crystal, what does healthy hair look like? And curl friends, I'm glad you asked. When we have healthy hair, our curls will be more defined, but then you have to understand that that definition depends on the characteristics of your curls and how tight your curls may be. But healthy hair will be defined. Healthy hair will have elasticity. Healthy hair retains moisture and stays hydrated. Healthy hair is manageable and healthy hair um, can hold on to styles longer. And curl friends, I'm wondering if this sounds familiar. And I think it should, because for a lot of us, these are the goals we have set for our natural journeys. And I want you to completely understand that these goals are attainable, or we can reach these goals when we improve the health of our hair. So our whole point today was to help you understand that without improving the health of your hair, you will not be able to successfully achieve the goals you have set on your natural journey. If you want to become a curl friend that wins, if you want to start winning on your natural journey, if you want to make natural hair care easy, today's the day to make the health of your hair your primary goal and focus. Once you do that, everything else will fall into place. Does it take time? Yes. Does it take work? Yes. But is it completely possible to improve the health of your hair and ultimately achieve your hair goals and make natural hair care easy? Yes. And curl friends, I hope if you um, take nothing else from today that you will be intentional moving forward about making the health of your hair the primary focus. Now, if you're cu curious about what processes you need to have in place, what practices that you should be employing and simple ways to make your natural hair experience easier. Curl friends, I am your girl. I want nothing more to help you succeed on your natural journey. So if you need a curl friend to come alongside you, show you what you should be doing and how you can do it to make natural hair care easy, please check me out at boldsculture.com. I would love to partner with you to help you on your intentional journey to making natural hair care easy. And curl friends, if this resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And next week, bring back more curl friends so you can get the tools, support, and access you need to help you save time, build confidence, and make natural hair care easy. Curl friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. I'm looking forward to coming back and sharing with you again. And until next week, go boldly.